Okay, everyone out there in uh, eBay land. So there are so many cameras that are being sold and the sellers say, well, huh, this item, this item, this item, well, it's a camera and that's a lot of money to spend. So why would you trust somebody who says this item? So the first thing I'll do is show you what happened. So about 10 years ago, I personally rebuilt the shutter. I did so using an ultrasonic cleaner, housing each component into Gerber baby food jars with naphtha. That's how I did it. Cleared everything off and used an old cathode ray tube test. So I buggered this screw. This one's okay. But let's actually see what we're actually looking at. So what we're going to do first is we are going to turn the helicoil. And yes, how many sellers actually show you that you can do this? And I know it's not right. It's a little tough. I'm using one hand on a couch. So let's actually go to the shutter. Hang on a second. So for many of those not really familiar with the Supermatic shutter, you have your indicators, like a Graflex. You have a red arrow for lower shutter speeds, a black arrow for higher. So what we do is that we actually rotate first. We set the shutter speed first. I repeat that. We're going to go to one. That's the big killer. We cock the shutter on the camera. How we do that is that we bring her back, let her release. I'm going to switch hands because it's a right-handed shutter. And now, watch the blades. Let me get a better focus. Here we go. One on the money. Next, we bring the shutter speed to two. We bring it back. And... Let's get this in focus. I know it's a little tough to see, it's at night. Two on the money. We bring it to five. Oh, not 10, but five. We cock the shutter. We get ready with the right hand. Watch the blades. Five on the money. Go to 10. Mm. 10 on the money. Now, after a 25th, it's very difficult to ascertain a shutter speed, but bear in mind that when they work at the low speeds, they work at the high speeds. Cock. Bring her up. If that's not a 25th, I don't know what is. Now, what we used to verify the shutter was a cathode ray tube shutter test off an old television. I don't have that old television anymore, so I can't verify it. A 50th. Cock. That's right on a 50th. Anyone who owns a box camera knows what those shutter speeds sound like. So next, we move up to 100. Now, at this point, it's going to be very tough to distinguish from anything else. We cock. We bring her around. That's about right. And finally, let's go to the top. Because you get the idea. We go to a 400th. The Supermatic didn't have that horrible drag that most of the Compier shutters did. It's actually an amazing shutter. American Ingenuity, we cock, but now that's where it feels tougher. And we fire. Didn't even see it, did you? Let's try that again. Off she goes. And bang. So having said that, I don't know of any other metalist auction that shows you the shutter functioning fine, the heel coil functioning fine. What happened is a sad story, which I'll show you soon. I was convinced by a good friend to have my camera CLA'd professionally. So we used a former camera store, Pacific Camera, 
and there was a little bit of fungus on the lens. So, okay, no problem. Not that much. So I was assured that the lens would be repaired properly, the fungus would be professionally eliminated, and while I was at it, if I spent $225, I could have the camera professionally CLA'd. Now, a camera that had no problems, except for fungus. Well, I kept on calling. Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Oh, we'll call you back. Well, obviously you know there are very few people who do this. There's a long waiting list. And finally, I got an email saying going out of business sale. I demanded my camera back. Well, this is what I got. So the lens screws in perfectly. But you can't take a photograph with this. It is now etched permanently. Apparently, the fungus idea was supposed to be soak it in acid. Yeah, great idea with glass. But they were pushing me off because they thought that they could find another front element. And as a matter of fact, they found a front element to a metalist too. Unfortunately, the threads on a metalist one are up here. Metalist two are down here. So they gave me a perfectly good and beautiful lens element. <laughs> yeah, right. So my point being that if you have a bad shutter metalist you bought off eBay, this is the perfect replacement. My work that I did years ago still holds up, as you can see. They destroyed my camera, but their response, we're going out of business, sue me. So, ladies and gentlemen, viewing my eBay auction, as you can see, this is a wonderful Kodak medalist that unfortunately had one aspect destroyed by a barbarian. So, at the end of the day, you are getting a great Kodak medalist, accurate rangefinder, and let's actually go over to the depth of field indicator. As we can see, that's working just fine, but now let's actually change our depth of field because I am so tired of buying stuff off eBay that doesn't work. They say we don't test this item, item, but yet we want all the money for it. That's self timer. As you can see, it's working fine. And let's go over to our aperture indicator. Let's move the indicator. Why not? Why shouldn't we? After all, we need to know it works, right? So now let's watch very carefully. Let's move our aperture around. And this is a tough little lever, as you know. It basically takes a fingernail. That's it. So we move up to, let's say, F11. Now let's look at the indicator again. Well, as we move things, See how things changed? So now we see our depth of field. And it's a little hard to see, but that's okay. So at F11, anything from, call it, it's a little tough to see, but 10 feet to infinity is in focus based on this. Not terribly difficult, but the British people had a bit of a trouble doing this during the Second World War. Now, again, you see it's not perfect. I'm not one of these guys who's saying that, oh, I've got the most beautiful camera in the world. What I'm showing you is that I had a charlatan kill a great camera that I spent a lot of money on because when I first bought it, six, uh, or 620 was still available. It was available up until the 1990s, and I spent over 500 bucks on this camera back in the day just to have it. Now, you can still re-spool 120 onto it. And once again, let's give it a shutter go. High speed. And let's remove the lens element so you can actually see the blades. And by the way, when people say, oh, no oil or whatever, if there's oil in the blades, some hack did it. I'm sorry. It's true. Because there should be no oil on any shutter blade. Bang. One four hundredth. And let's bring her back. Go back to the famous one, one second.
That's all you can ask for.